So in this online tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can actually make some really cool esports logos like this. But trust me, the ones that you're going to make are going to look even better than that. Then, of course, you can make some like this and you can make some like this, guys. And this is going to be in within minutes, OK, using Mid Journey. And of course, some free AI tools out there are probably going to be able to make you, you know, create these as well. But let's get straight into the tutorial because I don't want to waste any more of you guys' time. Let me show you some of the logos I've recently made, OK, with this AI tool. So this was the logo that I made a couple of minutes ago on the tutorial. I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how you can get the logo fine tuned to Adobe Illustrator in minutes in seconds pretty much how you can also make the text which fonts to choose which color schemes to choose then also how you can also make these newer style esports logos because i know that esports is moving in a different kind of trend and these cleaner logos these more um i guess you could say sophisticated ones are what teams are starting to use nowadays so i'm going to show you guys how you can make that within seconds even if this is just you know not for you know esports it can be like for youtube or for anything so let's get into mid journey so essentially what we're going to do okay is when we make these logos for gaming okay and not like for business if you want to make this for youtube what we want to do is you want to break down the prompt so what you want to have for example for this bear logo that i did i did of course the animal then of course i did the theme so if yours is going to be for like esports or for like gaming just do gaming or esports then of course always include mascot logo then always include your color theme followed by the fact that you want to have a white background having a white background is very important because if you don't have a white background essentially what happens is your image when you're trying to transfer it is going to suck it's just not going to work because essentially what happens is the background is the same image as the logo and the, the file has it just basically gives it trouble processing so just make sure you've got a clean white background like these ones um, and a clean background will do as well because um, it's going to make things a lot easier so Let's say, for example, we wanted to create a bull logo, which I recently was starting to do. You guys can see right here that I just did my prompt and I said bull esports logo, white background. Now, I didn't choose any color scheme for this because I wanted it to just give me a color scheme um, and it's given me so many different ones. Once you find the one that you want, you definitely want to experiment with the, v with the V5 because if you do want a clean style logo, you can just go ahead with something like this and I'll show you how to make the clean logos or you can go with something more old school, okay? So let's go, let's say we're, we're doing the old school way, okay? You just want to up upscale one of them and then essentially copy and paste it into Adobe Illustrator. So essentially what you want to do is you just want to go to, I'll do it again for you guys. So let me just delete this and delete this. There we go. So essentially what you want to do, you want to click file, then you want to click new. Then you want to just click anything. It doesn't really matter. Just click create. Then uh, you just want to click paste. So then you want to just grab this image right here. Let's just say we want to grab this image. Uh, I'm just going to copy this. Then I'm going to go over to Illustrator and I'm going to click paste. And then now you can see we've got an image. So once you've got the image in Illustrator, there's one key problem is that when you zoom in, you can see that this is all pixelated. So we don't want that. What we're going to do is we're going to just do this. So we're going to zoom this in right there. And of course, now, of course, it's still pixelated. OK, but that's not the problem. So we want to go up to the top left and we want to click window. Once you click window, then you can see that there's image trace. Then you, there's properties. Then also what you want to have as well is you want to have on type and character. So in the future, when it comes to editing the text, we have this little box here. So now that that's done, we want to change the preset from default to 16 colors. OK, and that's going to give you 16 colors of Adobe Illustrator's colors based on the trace. OK, so you definitely want to make sure you have image trace chosen. OK, and now you can see that when you zoom in, it's no longer pixelated. OK, you have your final image, which looks absolutely amazing. Now, you do also want to experiment with six colors because um, sometimes essentially what happens is you can just use six colors and it's less complex. It actually does look cleaner. Sometimes you might just want to use that. Maybe you just want to change the theme to red. That might just be what you want to do. So I would experiment with that as well. So you can see right here, now I've decided to add this. Then what we want to do now is essentially what we want to do is you want to click expand. Is this expanded? Can I delete this? Okay, no, that's wrong. Okay, that's not what I want to do. So now that you have that, you've got 16 colors on, okay? And you always want to make sure it's on tracing results. So this is going to be the final result. You want to click expand on the right-hand side. Now that that expand is done, now you can see exactly what we have. So we're going to grab the back here and we're going to click delete that. So once you have the final crest of the logo, what we want to do is instead of deleting all the text, because that would just take us for a while. Like, I mean, if you wanted to delete all the text, it would honestly just take forever. What we want to do is we want to also as well, we want to drag the logo over to the side to see what we have. And if we have anything that's not meant to be there, we're just going to go ahead and delete it. But right now that looks fine to be pasted onto a t-shirt or whatever. Um, and I like the I like the circle thing behind it. I know some of you might not like the circle thing behind it, but I don't just want the crest. I want the circle behind it too. I feel like it completes the whole image. But if you did want to delete the crest behind it, you can go ahead and click the double, just double click the layer and then click delete. Double click this, click delete. And then you could just go around and just delete that crest if you really wanted to. You could just click each individual part. Although it would take some time, you could just highlight it and then you could just delete those bits if you really wanted to. But I personally 
wouldn't want to delete all of that stuff because I really feel like it brings the image together. So for the text, okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab the pen tool right here. Now this is only for these kinds of logos. This is why this is just a bit more intense. And then we're going to just go to here and then put another point here. Then we're going to do another point here. We're going to bend this because it needs to bend underneath here, just like this. In fact, no, it doesn't. It needs to go to here, then to there, then to there, then to there, and to there. So what we want to do is we want to edge it onto all points where we want to introduce our text. Then we want to just close it off like that. Then, of course, you want to get this color right here, and we want to go to the color picker, and we want to pick the next closest color like that. So now what we've done is we've then changed this. So now there's no text there because, of course, we want to add our text onto this. So what we want to also do is you want to have the image as a reference on the right-hand side. So go back to Discord, then grab the image again, copy it, come back to here. Then we're going to just load this in, and then I'm going to go ahead now, and I'm just going to paste this in. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to just look at the text, and I'm going to say, okay, I need a nice font, and that's how the text is. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the text box out. I'm going to place the text right there. Then I'm going to type in balls. You can't really see it because it's in black. I'm going to change it to white. So just change the text to white. Then, of course, increase the size of your text. Just increase it manually because that's going to be a lot easier. Then you need to download this specific font because it's mainly esports based. So if you go over to here and type in Jersey, if you don't have this font, go to thefont.com and download this font. You'll thank me later. It's honestly a really good font. Then what we're going to do is we're going to simply stretch this out. So not like this. Because, of course, that's going to look a bit weird. What we want to do is we want to stretch this out a little bit. Because I actually do like that font, the way it's stretched out a little bit. We want to come down to here where the character is. If you don't have this, window, type, then character, and this box should pop up. Then what we have, okay, is we want to just keep increasing this. Put it to about like 30 or 40 um, just until it reaches it. So I'm going to put it to about 60. Um, in fact, that's still not enough. So I'm going to put it to about 100. Uh, that's still enough. I think that's, yeah, it's not too bad. But um, yeah, we need to just stretch out just a little bit more. And then I'm going to stretch this down just a little bit like that. So now that we have that, what we want to do is we want to go to Object. And then we want to go to End Envelope Distort. Envelope Distort. Then go to Make with Warp. And then we want to change this to Arc. And we want to do Arc Lower, just like that. And you can see now that this bends upwards, okay? And now we want to move this like that. So now that it bends upwards. And then what we want to do as well is we want to click OK. And then we want to move this upwards like that. So essentially what we want to do is you want to get this so that it bends perfectly. So you can see right there, ours didn't bend perfectly. So I'm going to move this up again. And then I'm going to just try one more time. So I'm going to just make sure this is extended out a bit. Make sure that it's extended out a bit. Just make sure it's lined up a little bit nicer. Then I'm going to go to Object, Envelope, Distort, Make with Warp. And then I'm just going to bend this just a bit more because I feel like that's what it needs. And yeah, I think I think that does look a lot better does look a lot a lot bit better so let's just do that bend right there click okay then you can see that is that's what it looks like it says balls looks really nice looks really clean then of course we're going to add the additional text so you can see right here on the bottom there's some more text so we're going to click the text icon again then i'm going to just type in esports and then i'm going to just go click what the color is so that color is like a glistening color i'm just going to put red because i feel like red would suit this image so i'm going to grab the color pickup take the red from there that's actually brown let's take the red then i'm just going to go ahead and increase the size of this just like that and then of course i'm going to go ahead and just add this like that i can either just manipulate this whichever way i want and just keep it like that you can see that's how it looks right there then of course you can see as well that is the logo finally complete so essentially what you can do now is of course right here. You can go again to object and envelope distort again and click make with warp. And then essentially rather than arc lower, we can just have arc and then we can just have an arc like that if you want. I mean, you don't have to change this. And then yeah, now that is done. There we go, guys. So you can see right here, Bulls Esports. This is the final logo. It's completed. It's completely done. I mean, if you think this is really cool, uh, it's, I mean, I think it's pretty decent also as well. You can take, you should be able to, um, if I can grab this point, you should be able to move this independently just like that. So that fits in as well. So you can grab this final point here on this and then just, just tilt it like that. That way the logo looks a bit more like it's actually part of the logo and not just random. Um, and just make sure you grab this tool like that. So yeah, you guys can see that this is a full esports team logo within, I mean, this video is right now at 10 minutes. So yeah, that, I mean, that's crazy. That is absolutely insane. Um, and I think using mid journey for these logos is honestly really cool because it allows you to just make these logos within absolute seconds, guys. So whichever way you do want to do this, I mean, it's completely up to you. But if you do want to do the clean logo style, it's honestly the same process. I'm going to show you guys right now. All we got to do is we got to grab the original ball. Uh, let's just say we grab the one. I mean, these ones don't look too good, if I'm being honest. Let's just regen. So yeah, I made a new one. And I think if I'm being honest with you guys, I think this one right here, because it's got like a little bit of a crest. And it looks really, really nice compared to the other ones. So I'm going to upgrade num number four. Or in fact, this one right here actually looks pretty cool, actually. 
Um, but I, I, I like this one better. So I'm going to copy this image and I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. Let's go ahead new. Let's make a new logo. Then, a, then we can go ahead here. Um, and if you're wondering why I'm, I'm doing this second style as well, I'm going to show you a quick image of teams that are actually using this style. So if you go to like the Overwatch League, you can see right here that this is what their logos look like. And a lot of them have this clean style. That's why I'm showing you guys how to actually make these kind of clean logos, because I feel like this is what we're gravitating towards in the future. Um, and these are what teams are going to really look at. And then of course here, you can see as well that their wordmark logos are actually really, really cool. And a lot of them are actually spaced out. You can see right here, Spitfire spaced out. Um, Dallas spaced out, Seoul spaced out. So we can see that there's a clear theme going on here and we're going to use that, incorporate it into our esports logo. So I'm going to go ahead, okay? And I'm going to call this the Boston Bulls, okay? So uh, I think that's a cool name. So right here, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to just go ahead and, you know, we've already got this. So I'm going to go ahead and do six colors, just the first, just to see how it looks. Six colors looks pretty perfect, okay? That looks absolutely in insane. So now that that's done, we can go ahead and click expand. Now our logo is there. We just go ahead and remove the background. Now we have a final logo, okay? We can copy and paste this and you can see right here that this is something we can literally put on a shirt. So now that this logo is finalized, um, we, we just now need to add the text. So this is pretty simple. So like I said, I'm gonna call this the Boston Bulls. Okay, so I'm gonna add two different pieces of text here. So firstly, it's gonna be Boston, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and add the red. Now what's important here is that we add the red from the actual image. So when we're adding the red here, um, what we want to do is you want to go ahead and we want to go to the color picker. Then we want to pick that color right there. And you can see it instantly gives us that same red, okay? And that's what you want to do for whatever color you have. Then what we want to do as well for the text, I'm going to go ahead and choose a sans serif font. So uh, uh, the text is over here. I'm going to go ahead and choose something really cool. This one looks actually really cool. Uh, if you want to know what that font is called, it's called Micrograma something extended. So uh, we can use many different fonts. Um, you know, it just honestly depends. So we can go ahead. And we can go ahead um, and use whichever font we really want. So we got Boston. And then, of course, what we want to do here, what we want to do here is we want to expand this. So we can expand this by 40, just like this. Or in fact, let's expand this by 200. Just like, in fact, let's do 400 because that's going to be more better. Okay, 400 gives us a nice look. So we got Boston. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it like a tall, a tall kind of style. So I'm going to go ahead and use a font called Bebas that most people know. And I'm going to type in Bulls. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in Bebas. It's a real tall font. And then I'm going to just put this back to zero. And then I'm going to increase the size of this font, the Boston Bulls. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just increase the size like that. And then, yeah, I think that looks really, really cool. I think I want to expand this a bit more though. Let me just expand this. Let's just put it at 600, uh, maybe at 800 Boston Bulls. And I think what the, with this one as well, I'm going to do minus 10 just so that it's even tighter together. Or in fact, minus 40. There we go. So minus, in fact, that's a bit too close. Minus 20. There we go. Okay. So now that we have that, you guys can see that this is an esports font that we just, not esports font, esports logo that we just created in a couple of seconds. Now, of course, it could be a bit better. If I'm being honest with you, there's, there's, there's ways to make this better. But I think that, you know, for a logo that is like on par with these ones, I mean, I think, I think it's really good. I mean, compared to, these ones right here, I think it definitely does look pretty good. And I think that um, uh, maybe if I did this a bit smaller right here, what I could also do as well, something that, you know, other people want to do. This is just being extra. If you're honestly just extra, you can get the B and then you can make the B a little bit bigger. Um, so let's make the B 130 and then let's make the S 130. In fact, let's make them both 120 uh, and then let's do that 120. And then so if you can do that, so you can see right there that you can do that that kind of logo. I don't know, guys. It's completely up to you. And then like nest it in the middle right there, like the Boston Bulls or something. I don't know, guys. It's completely up to you how you want to style the logo. We could just, you know, put it back to the original. Uh, maybe the original was better, honestly. So yeah, let me know what you thought about this logo. I think that this is uh, definitely a new step up in AI because it's showing us how quickly you can make logos. I don't want to make this tutorial too long. But I did think that this was a necessary tutorial because I know that some designers out there might struggle with, uh, you know, pre their ideas. Some companies and organizations might just want a logo and don't want to pay $800 for one. Uh, this is a very good solution. So if you have any questions, comment down below. I'll answer them all. Um, and hopefully if you enjoyed this video, hopefully you enjoyed making these esports logos. And I guess I'll see you in the next awesome tutorial.